Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing great. It's Michael and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, we're going to be talking about the future of Resident Evil Village and its DLC because we just got some news on its first DLC and one thing that I really want to mention is that it's going to be free, absolutely free. Also for Monster Hunter Rise and its fan base, I'm not really too keen on that franchise, so I will not be jumping into that territory. Now, this comes from Capcom's, you know, the company's annual reintegrated report. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to read it for yourselves. I think it's a page 48. I'm pretty sure it's page 48. I could be wrong, though. And in that article, there's a specific part that says, We will drive our customer management to understand the playing trends and preferences of users while also building a business model for online operations, taking into account the situation of our free additional content for free DLC for titles such as Monster Hunter Rise and Resident Evil Village. So basically, you guys heard it here. This is coming straight from Capcom. No BS. Literally coming out and saying that they're going to have their first uh, DLC. You know, we learned back in about June, I think, about they, they have started on their DLC. And, you know, I, I would have thought that we wouldn't be getting DLC this late. But, I mean, you know, I mean, with the pandemic and everything, I mean, I can't really say too much. But, yeah, they are giving us free DLC. And I don't want it to just be cosmetic DLC, man. I, I really don't. If it's story-driven content, just like how they released it for, you know, Resident Evil 7 for that Chris DLC, I would be really, I would be really grateful. I'm really hoping this is the same uh, route they're going to take. And if they are gonna release uh, some paid DLC, I would I would purchase it. I wish they would do the same story content. I've mentioned this countless times here on the channel, but I wish they would release the same content packs, and you know do that formula they did back in Resident Evil Seven, where it was pretty much like story driven content for certain sections of characters. And, you know, different playthroughs, we played as Zoe, we played as uh, Clancy, I think that's his name. And, uh, you know, you're basically playing different storylines, stuff like that. I mean, just just some basic food for thought. I mean, I'm just giving some examples here. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much going to run that's pretty much gonna run up this video i mean i hope you guys definitely did enjoy other than that guys if you guys did enjoy please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in the next video uh really grateful for the support on the last video guys i wanted to upload this video but i just have not had time and i really do apologize but i have another video coming out for you guys tomorrow and we're gonna get back into uploading guys hope you guys are all doing great and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out guys